Hey, it's Michelle, the posh PA. So to take or to retake classes, that is the question. Specifically, if you didn't perform very well in your prerequisites or you have a lower GPA than is typically considered competitive. That's what we're going to talk about today. But if you don't subscribe already, be sure to smash that button so that you don't miss a new video, two videos dropping every week that will give you tips and tricks as a pre-PA, a PA student, and a practicing PA and beyond. Okay, so to take or to retake classes is a question I get asked all the time. How can I improve my lower than average GPA? So let's talk about that for a second. The average person that gets into PA school currently has an overall GPA of about a 3.6. That also goes for science. We're talking about overall and overall science GPAs. Now, there are certain programs that look at slightly different GPAs, some that look only at prerequisite GPAs or somebody, some that look at your last 60 credits. But as a rule of thumb, most programs are looking at your overall GPA and your overall science GPA. The average applicant that gets accepted has about a 3536 or higher in those areas. Now, if you are somebody that has a 3.1, a 3.2, um, or even a 3.3 and you want to try to improve your GPA, or maybe your GPA is even lower than that. If it is, then I highly recommend a one-on-one -on -one conversation to make a strategy and plan for what will be best for you to not only get over the hump to be able to meet the minimum requirements, but make a strategy on selecting programs that will look more closely at your last 60 credits. Okay, I digress. So if you are somebody with a lower than average GPA, and you're like, oh, what do I do? Do I like retake all these science classes? Do I keep taking upper level science classes? Do I do like a post-bac program or do I do a master's program? These are all options. And my rule of thumb is if you have taken all of your prerequisites and you have a B minus or better, then I would not retake them because most programs will require a B minus or better in all of your prerequisites. If you have a C or below in any of your prerequisites, I would recommend retaking them. They may not incrementally increase your overall GPA, but it will improve your prerequisite GPA, which is why I re recommend doing it. It also proves to an admissions committee that you can conquer that course and be able to successfully succeed in it. So I'm gonna repeat that. If you have a C or below in any of the prerequisites, I would recommend retaking them. But let's say you've already retaken them and your GPA is not where you want it to be. At that point, if you have taken all your prerequisites and you've retaken the ones you didn't do so well in, do you take more science courses or do you look into doing something else? Now, you can continue to take more upper level science classes, but you have to sort of project out how much that's incrementally going to impact your GPA. Because once you start taking more and more credits, you start to dilute how much your GPA actually bumps. So if you're close and you're like at a 3.4 and you're like, oh, this is, this is looking good. I just want to bump up. Then yes, taking some additional science courses is going to be helpful. But if you're somebody that's still at just like a 3.1 or a 3.2 and you really want to make a jump, then I would consider doing either a post-bac certificate program or a one-year master's degree. And here's why. Doing that in a more formal structure, specifically a master's degree, will prove to an admissions committee that you can handle master's level coursework. It will also incrementally raise your overall and your science GPA if you choose a master's that's in a science-related field, which I do recommend. Um, there are programs out there that will use your master's grades or your master's GPA as a replacement. There are programs that will look at your last 60 credits. So that's a really important individualized plan and conversation that you can have with me or one of my amazing coaches. And you can book a one-on-one -on -one session at my website at the link below. So I would recommend in the circumstance that you've taken all of your prerequisites, you've done great, and your GPA is still a little bit low. I would consider doing a one-year master's degree if you have already applied and been rejected. 
So I would go for it, okay? So like I would apply. There are there are two schools of thought here. Um, some people are like, should I even apply with a 3.2? Well, why not? You meet the minimum requirements for almost every program that's out there. So you have nothing to lose by applying with that GPA, especially if you have an amazing rest of your application. What if you have thousands of hours and good shadowing and good volunteering and all of that? And that's why I say it's a personalized conversation because I meet with a lot of applicants who are, maybe their GPA is a little bit lower, but the rest of their application is stellar. And you can find programs that you would be a really good applicant for. And why not go for it before spending a lot of money on retaking and taking classes? But if you've applied and it's been unsuccessful, then that's something I would consider as a reapplicant. So that's a very important thing to remember. Um, if your GPA is below a 3.0, there are very few programs that accept a lower than 3.0 GPA. Um, there are some out there that have a minimum of 2.75. I will tell you though, that even at those programs, the average person that gets accepted has a 3.3, 3.4 GPA. So now that's just an average. So you can still apply if you have everything else that's required. But when it, when I'm talking specifically about taking classes or retaking classes to improve your GPA. Um, that's if you want to wait to apply until your GPA is perfect, or maybe you have, you have to take time, you know, to gain patient care hours and things like that. That's when you should really be thinking about, okay, during this time that I'm working to get patient care hours, how can I improve my GPA? Should I retake classes? Should I take new classes? Should I do a master's? These are all questions that you should consider. And like I said, if you've already taken your prereqs and you've gotten B, a B minus or above and all of them, I would not repeat prerequisites. You can continue to take one off upper level science classes um, and hopefully that will incrementally do it for you. But if not, then I would consider doing an additional you know, master's program or program um, if you really feel that your GPA is the, the number one thing that's hindering your application. So I know that was a lot and it can be very confusing, but that's why I feel like having a conversation and having somebody look at your application and be like, okay, this is what I think you need to do. This is what you should do um, is really important. Um, but, and you have to remember that like, every person's situation is different. So I may tell one person just to take a few classes and I may tell another, you know, just apply and see what happens. But just so you know, if you have a 3.2, you can apply to most programs out there and then consider improving your GPA, you know, if, if for some reason you're unsuccessful. So it really just depends on the other components of your application. Um, and although we don't like it, um, GPA is, the number one predictor of how you will perform in PA school. It's also really important that you can pass a PA program and schools want to be reassured that you are academically strong enough to be able to do that. Why? Because they don't want people to be remediated either. They don't want to lose people from their program, right? It can affect accreditation status. So your academic standing is very important when thinking about applying to PA school. Um, but that doesn't mean if you did well, if you did poorly early on in your college career and came back really strong that you can't get in, or maybe you had an off year there in between. You can come back from that. That shows resilience. That shows strengths. That shows an upward trend. There are ways, you know, to improve on that. So, um, having that decision and those questions about, you know, retaking or taking classes or do I do a master's is really applicant dependent. Um, and I recommend that you chat with somebody to kind of go over what your options are before really investing in anything. Um, I just had something in my head and it kind of flew out the door. So, <laughs> um, but I want to tell you that, you know, myself and my other team of coaches are available to do counseling sessions for you. We have those options on my website, michellenesky.com, um, and hopefully can break it down for you, whether you're a first time applicant or you're a reapplicant. We have resources and tools to help you all the way through so that you can ultimately be successful.